so today's literacy lesson um, is going to be based on the game Scattergrees, but it's a homemade version as you can see here. My class are very familiar with this. You've either sick to death of it or maybe you've been missing it, but we shall see. So what I've done here is I've drawn out a grid. The first column has to be the letter. These columns in the middle, um, I've got boy's name, girl's name, food, drink, place, toy and shop. You can use these ones if you'd like, or you can mix it up and have your own categories. And then the last column is for the score. So I'm going to talk you through the rules. Now, when I'm at school, usually we have a dice with different letters on it that we roll to generate our randomly selected letter. I don't have these at home. So what I do have, um, I have this game called Can You Go? And it's just got a selection of letter cards in it. So I'm going to use those. So the aim of the game is to pick a letter and then you've got to compete with other team players. So there can be other members of your family. I think this would be quite a nice thing maybe to do over FaceTime with some friends or cousins. Quite a nice family or group activity. So you have got a set amount of time. I usually start with about a minute. If you're getting more confident, you can shorten the time to make it a bit difficult. Or you can extend the time if you're finding it a bit tricky. And what you've got to do, using the letter that's selected, you have got to write a word that matches each of these categories. And then when the time is stopped, you compare with your friends or your family that you've been playing with. For each answer that nobody else has got, you get a point for. If somebody else has used the same name or the same drink or the same place as you, neither of you get a point. If you haven't come up with an answer um, for one of the categories, you don't get a point for that either. So the aim of the game is to think of something that's a bit obscure, a bit unusual, that your other teammates won't guess, and there you'll get the highest score. So I'm gonna demonstrate now. I'm not going to use a timer because I'm not competing against anyone, but I'm just gonna demonstrate for those who haven't played before. So I've randomly selected the letter T. So I'm gonna get my pen. And in the letter column, I'm going to write T as a reminder. Okay, so boy's name, I'm going to go for Tim. Girl's name, Tanya. Food, um, tomato. Drink, tea. Place, Tokyo. Toy, Teddy. Shop, TK, Max. Okay, so once the time has stopped, or you could just do it until everyone's finished writing something in here, um, you compare. So if, say for example, my partner had also written Tim as the boy's name, neither of us would get a point. Um, so I put a little zero in here, I didn't get anything for that. But maybe I got the name Tanya and my partner got the name Tilly, we'd both get one point for that, so I put a little one there. And you continue putting a zero or a one in each of your columns, and then you add them up, and that's where the score goes here. Okay? If you don't have somebody that you can play this with, you can draw out the table, and if you take a photo and send it to your teacher, um, we will collate all the information that we get, and we can um, send you the score you got compared to other people from our school. Okay, so not to worry if you don't have someone to play with. Um, and like I said, you can change the categories if you want. You can limit it, so just have four maybe, if you want to start like that. Um, and that's it really. So I hope you enjoy this game. Send photos to your teachers if you want them to mark and score you against other people. Um, have fun.